each other. <coughs> and then um, I'll just briefly explain, give a bit of explanation um, about what we will do because you all um, maybe you never heard this. So it's great. Um, one of the one of the reasons why I said we we'll hold one in the park was to bring in the new the beginners. But it's okay, all is goodbye. Whoever needs to be here is here. So what we will do today is um, we'll actually generate some love energy. Okay. Uh, so I'm Ladan um, and I'm delighted to meet our new brothers and sisters. I know um, two of these beautiful souls. We've been meditating for many years together. So it's wonderful to now get to know you. I'm Angela. Um, and I'm Debbie, Sarah, Phil. Um, long, long time. We've all exactly done circles and yeah, just meditations away. I'm Philip. I've got my love shirt on. <laughs> oh, there it is. Right. Sorry. Right. So, hello. I'm Christine. Um, new to this. I think I did try it quite a few years ago in, in somewhere in Teagle, but it's uh, I, I just can't seem to relax, so I was hoping that I'd just try again and hopefully it might um, get me a little bit stressed if I can just start to do this meditating. Okay, thank you. Hi, I'm Pat <coughs> and uh, I, I have done meditation before but then I've got out of it because of the anxiety takes over and you know, I'm, I'm, I'm having a problem with anxiety at the moment. But, um, Anyway, I'm glad we're doing this and I'm hoping that I will be able to uh, get some benefit from it. Hope so too. Hope so too. Crystal singing bowls are actually made from the crust of the earth, the crystal of the earth. So when we use any singing bowls, we're basically connecting with Mother Earth. Um, and different colours uh, uh, resonate with different chakras. These two are connecting to our higher chakras. So this is our uh, sixth dimensional world chakra. Uh, which actually activates the, um, the light language within us and this one connects to our higher heart chakra. Uh, we're now moving from the energy of love into unconditional love. That's what this one does. Now these two are for our lower chakras which obviously is so needed at this time to feel fully grounded and feel secure with so much uncertainty. So these four wanted to come and join, <laughs> join our meditation today. 
Um, so I'm going to lead you into a meditation um, and I'm going to uh, then start say, playing the balls. But what's really important is if thoughts come in, for obviously the beginners, if thoughts come into your mind, it's okay. <coughs> they are part of who we are. We need to let them be because if we, if we give them energy, then they take over and you will not be back in your life. So if any thoughts, any feelings come, just just see them like clouds coming and going in their own in their own pace. So that's really important. And if at any time you drift off and you think, okay, mm, I need I should have brought the washing in and it's going to rain. So just bring your focus back into the breath because we've To, we're going to relax the entire body using our inhalation and our exhalation. And for the benefit of our, of our new um, <coughs> comers, I'm going to work through the whole body and relax the whole body, and then I'll guide you into a meditation. Okay, can everybody hear me? Otherwise, feel free to come over to down during the meditation that's absolutely fine there is no right and wrong there is there are no just enjoy the experience and really that's all what meditation is about okay so what we will do is we will close the So when you're ready, make If during the meditation you feel a little bit aches and pains in any part of your body, feel free to move that part of the body. Feel free to change position. It's absolutely fine. Okay. So, let us begin. In the name of my I am presence, and the I am presence of all life, with the power of God that I am, the God miracle particle that I am, we now begin this meditation so if it's comfortable for you close your eyes otherwise if you wish to keep your eyes open just find a focal point and bring your whole awareness into your breath so we're going to start off by taking some deep breathing so breathe in through your nostrils in two three and exhale through your mouth out two three on the next inhalation take the breath right down into your belly and breathe out through your belly so here we go in two, three, and out, two, three, one more time, in, two, three, right down to your belly, and out, two, three, on the next cycle of your breath, I'd like you to be able to hear your inhalation and exhalation. So let's do it together. In, two, three, and out. Excellent. Two, three. One more time. In, two, three, and out. Wonderful.
now go back to your normal breathing and feel the difference in your body. Feel how much more relaxed your body is feeling. now responding to the pure energy of your breath. Thank you. 
memory of the time when you fully experienced pure love. That could be loving or receiving unconditional love from a friend, family member, 
unconditional love out into your own space.
your awareness back to your physical body. Become aware of where you are sat or laid down. Become aware of your breath. And open yourself up external noises. For those of you who are laid down, roll over to your right hand side, keeping your eyes closed at all times. Those of you who are sat, become aware of the bottom of your feet and wriggle your toes. And in your own time, for those of you who lay down, sit up. Keeping our eyes closed. And we're going to rub our hands together and place them upon our closed eyes, returning all the wonderful energy back into our physical body. And in, in your own time, open your eyes in the palms of your hands. And in your own time, release the palms of your hands. And we are just going to zip up our energy field. So go right to the bottom. And as if you're zipping yourself up, over the top. Welcome back. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Better now. Good. Good. It'll make a big difference. Really. Yes, we sound is exactly what goes on in our in our own body. Our, our cells and our brain respond to sacred sounds, any sort of sacred sounds. So they have the same frequency, and this is the language that our cells and our DNA speak of. So it, at first, the very first time, many many years ago, when I experienced this. I felt such deep pressure on my heart and I knew that there was a massive blockage in my heart but there was this resistance so um, my friend who was who was doing this she said just just keep breathing keep breathing through it and the more that I experienced it I exposed myself to sacred sounds the lighter I became mm. and, um, and obviously now doing it myself and I love it absolutely love it so it's very very effective so everyone's got some water mm -hmm. let's drink some water <laughs> it actually felt like the park came alive at the beginning didn't it? I got a lot of symbols Four dimensional star, and I was even, I don't even say it's a star, I think it's like a, a love symbol. Oh, wonderful! Mm. Was, that's what I, I connected to. Wonderful. Right yeah. wonderful. Yeah. Great. Anybody? Thank you. Thank you. My pleasure. Anybody else would like to share anything? How was um, it? Was your first time, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, I think I. I felt more relaxed at the beginning and then I think I lost sort of concentration maybe, I don't know. Um, but I love the sound of those. Uh, I've never heard them before, never experienced it. So I would like to do more because I think I'd probably benefit. I've just got to persevere a bit. 
but I also it was difficult to hear. I should have put my head this way. Yeah. And I didn't <laughs> want to. I didn't want to turn around in the middle of it. Yes. I normally. Hear properly. Yeah. Normally, when I do any sound workshop, I ask people to lie down this way. Yeah. So you receive any from your crown chakra down. Mm. Um, but this time it didn't feel we needed to do that. This time I think we just needed to anchor the energy here through yeah. the use of these. We yeah. just needed to bring the focus more on the love energy. Mm. Yeah. But yeah, you're absolutely right yeah. because it would be much better to have it. And I normally sit in the centre as well and then everybody oh, sort of right. sits. Yeah, I, I actually yeah. halfway through wanted to put my chest on the ground and forward yeah, and face. I, <laughs> I, I was yeah, thinking, yeah. why am I like this? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and then art to the earth sort of thing. Oh, right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Great. Great. Anyone else want to? Yeah, I felt on a cellular level. I could feel my cells vibrating. I saw them. Um, yeah, that was awesome. And uh, when you said about Pete, bring somebody in for the given this love. There's a certain person who I didn't want to, but they had, they had to bring them in, and I was quite happy. To do that, and I thought, yeah, that was a good, a good thing. That was massive. That was massive. Yes, yeah. I did struggle. My heart was like, well, it brought tears, but my heart was like, oh, it, it released something definitely. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Um, please, you've heard yeah. of trying to think of the author's name now, a uh, conversation with God. Mm -hmm. Donald Neil, Neil, oh, yeah. Neil Donald yeah. Walsh, thank you. Yeah, Neil Donald Walsh actually says that there is, there is never any need to forgive because forgiveness doesn't exist. When we see everything from the point of acceptance and allowance, then we're accepting what is. There is, we don't see things as right or wrong. We just see that everything is divine and everything has to go through the process of its own cycle, including us, the way we, we act uh, or react towards things. And it actually makes a lot of sense. And the act of forgiveness becomes much more easier because we, we stop judging ourselves or judging others for things that don't go our way. Great, mm. great, thank you. Anyone else? I went to the same pro process. I felt lots of vibration in hands, like on the earth, feel it vibrating, the whole body. Of, and I was the same, I had somebody come forward that I didn't really want to give love to. <laughs> So how does it feel now for those two people who've come into your heart and they've received your unconditional love? When you think about those people, how does it feel now? Well, you brought us back, but I didn't want to let go. <laughs> I just wanted to continue, continue holding the person. I yeah. Like, oh, I'm coming back now. I've got to come yeah. back. But um, yeah, it felt good on my part, but I don't know if they've accepted it. But oh, hold on, hold on. Don't know. That's blocking it. There it oh, go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They've had it, whether they want it or not. Well, you know, obviously their higher self would be Yeah, yeah. 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 They want to show them otherwise. No, no. I have to experience. I, I have lots of people I want to give love to, and it felt like I'd got enough time to meet everybody that, but then the one person that I didn't want to show love to, right at the end, of the did. In the same thing. Yeah, fabulous. Yeah. yeah. I've been to them before. 
Amazing. I actually travelled to the atmosphere, <laughs> like you do, <laughs> and the old earth was vibrating with your vibration. Of the old earth. So it was not just the park, it was the old earth. Like a glow in the vibration. Yeah, we are, we are one with the earth. Mm. We are one with everyone. You know, I'm sat here with you beautiful people, so you are part of me. You are showing me another aspect of me, and the same vice versa. There is no difference. We're all made from the same atom, from the same same point of the almighty creation. So we're all we're all the same. So that's wonderful. wonderful. I've just got lots and lots of colour, lots of like like vibrations, and then just lots and lots of light. That was amazing. Did you know it's the birds started singing louder? Yes, I do. I do. I do. I do. I Is it with your hands? Rubbing oh, round. Sorry. Isn't it? They have round. Oh, yeah. 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 Some of the noises are so loud, aren't they? Yeah. 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 I thought you had speakers. I know. I know. <laughs> Before I came, um, I said to my husband, Do you have any sort of speakers that I could even project it out? He said, No, not really. He said, There's a different type of speaker. We've got Bluetooth speakers, but it won't work for this. Yeah. So I thought, Okay, I just let it. They play their own tune depending on what the group needs. Yeah. Every time they play totally different things. So <laughs> they're alive. They're, they're alive. alive then, aren't they? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, like the crystal that you, yeah. you draw yeah. does that with the same as it's that way. Mm. Yeah. yeah, we have a few spiders as well crawling yeah. inside. Joining. <laughs> <laughs> Embrace the sound. I just felt like it was moving around me like an energy. It wasn't just going into my bones, it was kind of going around me. Um, and when we were sending out the love, I saw it go out like purple, um, like the infinity symbol. Oh, beautiful. it was going across like the earth, but then it went up and it just kind of went whew. beautiful. And that, and that was just amazing. But that kind of fitted with the sound what was happening, mm -hmm. if that makes sense, mm -hmm. it's like I was seeing the sound. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Wonderful, wonderful. So, um, drink lots of water because this is actually, whether we need it or not, when we listen to sacred sounds, we receive a healing, healing energy on whatever level, whether it's the physical level, emotional level, level spiritual level it literally awakens something within us so the more water we drink the the more we allow that process to take place easier but also as you know we are 70% water some scientists actually say say we are 90% water now so uh, but even even if you go with 70% water we are we the water that we have when we experience any sort of meditation the energy that we create it also gets absorbed by our crystals but also by our, by the water so when we drink that we sort of constantly topping it up one of the things that uh, obviously we need to drink water but one of the things i always recommend to my to my groups is that now this water carries the frequency of unconditional love you can now use it as a lexia, as a base water, and then just keep topping it up and keep sharing it with others as well, because then they will drink this unconditional love. Oh, it's nice. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> I better not drink it all at once. <laughs> 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 it's just that much love your bottle. The other thing is that um, I've actually, I know Chris, you do as well. I've actually got one of these, which got crystal oh, in. That's beautiful. Uh, yeah. uh, yours is similar. Do you know what? It's incredible with this, the dirt it gets out of the water. Yeah. The bottle is brown when I wash it. Yeah. That's the crystal that's done that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It purifies the water. Yeah. Um, but 
idea authentically. Just write, you know, do draw drawings of yeah. heart. Love. Good positive drawings mm. because then you'll bring that in as well. Yeah. So we're, 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 motor, imagination. Yeah, that, yeah. Yeah. That's right. Sometimes yeah. when I make tea, I actually hold my hand and think of the best moment in my life and I put it in the tea as I can add it. Or your food as well. Absolutely, that's why I make tea. Mm. Oh, you take a cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a sprinkle bit of lovely. But you got to think of that moment in your life. It's a precious moment. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm, that's good. Yeah. So we've got um, Universal Meditation Group. I know a couple of you have already joined, mm -hmm. and we do uh, online meditation. All the light strong. Oh, so yeah. we are being proactive on every level, physical level, mm. where we go and join the protest and sign petitions and you know everything else. But then on energetic level because this thing that we are experiencing in our world has to be um, has to be resolved on both levels from above mm. and from below. Um, so we do a lot of meditation, group meditations if you would like to join us. We've actually got a five-day meditation project coming up uh, starting on Monday where again we're going to heal the heart of the masses so we're going to heal the lower chakra of the masses and then we're going to then activate the heart higher heart chakra of the masses through their through their own I am presence of course with the permission of whoever that's ready they will, they will come in like they did today so if you'd like to join us feel free let us know uh, and I can and I can add you um, the more of us the better so yeah, army of light workers above and yeah. army of light workers <laughs> below yeah you'll be we'll get there is it's, this is I, I will if you send me a message and then i will add you because oh, right. it's only by invitation that one you do them on zoom like, we like do some now. zoom sessions yes. but this one um is on youtube so i'll send the you youtube link, link. Uh, yeah. and then Can I say something? I actually, I, I was given a, uh, some information off uh, Carol Billets where I use an halo for grounding and it grounds. And I've got a, like, spot crystal, visualise a crystal. And send, I was sending it and it was that infinity symbol. And oh, that was nice. last week. Nice. And they actually picked up on the, you know, the psychic point in the back of the head. Oh. So uh, I've also been told that uh, crystal and it source energy into the cells of the people who have been V'd uh, changes gets rid of the negativity of it. Yes. So I've been given that info. Yes, yes. Yeah. Of course, we always have to do it with the permission of their higher yeah. self. Mm -hmm. Because otherwise, we will interfere in their own journey, and we're not here to do that. We're basically doing what voodoo people do, don't we? We're forcing it on. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. This particular the one that we're going to be doing, actually, we're going to use the golden infinity symbol for the mm. first part, and then the second part. So you're laid and universal? Yes. All oh, right, so I'll message you. Yeah. Go for it. Yeah, I'll just check. Is the one this evening, did you say? 6 pm? Did you put it on? Somebody put it on? No. On the not Telegram, me. the Global Meditation with the guy oh, talking. Have you seen that one? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Yes. But I don't know any more about it. It's a nice number, isn't it? <laughs> it's a good number, that. Yeah. All the numbers are actually, I'm glad you brought it up, all the numbers, every single Sorry. number is sacred, yeah. Yeah. but it's been misused. Yeah. Right. Oh yeah. yeah, you know, like number 13, well, symbols are the don't, sacred numbers yeah. on earth, yeah. but then we've been told to yeah. well, most, most of the symbols have been misused, don't they? Yes, yeah. yes. So. 
wonderful. So thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for that. Yes, I will. Yes, definitely join. That was wonderful. It was really good. We do sometimes, we do, but at the moment it's just so crazy because, uh, you know, I'm really, really active. I join all the protests and we're now distributing all these letters for parents. <laughs> so on the ground level, it's so busy and then constantly they're hiding, saying, right, okay, next, next set of meditation, next week. So, but yeah, we all do live then. Are you working, Matt? Yeah, I'm doing, I'm doing, I'm working from home. Yeah, thank you for, for joining us today. Uh, I'm actually stopping it now. Thank you. Oh, fantastic.